What is up guys, Fahir here from AwesomeTutes.com and in this short video we're gonna take a look at how can we make the camera follow our player. What do I mean by this? Well if we go inside of our Unity editor and I click to play the game we will see our character moving so I can move him left and right and he is moving in the frame of the camera but pretty soon as you just see he's gonna go outside of that frame we don't see him anymore. So we need to make the camera be able to follow our player. In order to do that inside of the camera scripts or any folder that we have in our game, I'm gonna right click and create a new C sharp script. I'm gonna call it camera follow two because I already have camera follow. And you can select the main camera here in the hierarchy and you can drag and drop it right there in the hierarchy panel right there. So simply drag and drop it on the camera itself or in the inspector panel, simply here, drag and drop it. Or on add component, you can filter for camera follow too, and you can click on it and it will be added right here to the camera. So it is attached on the camera. I'm gonna right click it or actually double click it and open it here in my visual studio. And let me just quickly tag the class here, give a little bit of space. So what do we need in order to make the camera follow our player. Well, for that, we need a private transform. So private transform and the transform is the movement of our player and I'm going to call it player transform. This is the movement of the player. If we go back in our unity and select our character. So right here, here he is. You will see in the inspector panel, the first component is the transform. You will see here the positions and rotations and scale. So we can move him left and right on X axis. You see here left and right. We can move it up and down on the Y axis. So this is his transform. This is where the position is stored. So if I go back here, we now need to get a reference to that transform because here we don't have any. So what we need to do, we need to say player transform is equal to game object. Find the game object with the tag. And here I'm simply going to say the player tag and I'm going to say dot transform. Now again, you see here game object with tag or find game object with the tag and the tag name is player. What you need to make sure is if you go here in Unity, you need to make sure when you select your character or your game object that you want to find by using the appropriate tag right here in the inspector panel below the name of the game object, you have a drop down list with tags. So when I click on the drop down list, you see here we have the player tag. Now you see the P for the player's capital, which need, which means that here we also need to make it capital. If we put it lowercase, it will not work because it will search for the correct match. If the P is capital, then in your code, it needs to be capital. Even if it's like this, if A is capital in the tag, then you will need to make it right here capital as well. But you're probably asking me how you can add these tags. Well, simply click on the drop down list, click on add tag and right here, you see we have a list of tags. You can click on the plus button, new tag. You can name it, for example, my tag and you can click save and it will save that tag. So if I create it, for example, if I say my tag and click save, here it is. If you want to remove it, you're going to select it by clicking on it and click on the minus right here, bam, and it is removed. But you see here you have a warning or actually an info. Uh, there are remove tags. They will be removed from this list the next time project is loaded. So you actually need to close Unity and open it again so that this right here removed will be removed from this list. But you remove the tag, you cannot use it, the one that we deleted, which is my tag. So now that we have the tag or the tag is set up in the code and on the player we have it right here. So what we can do now is in the late update and I will explain in a second why late update and I'm going to remove this comment. I am simply going to type here vector three temp, which is the temporary position and I'm going to store the transform that position. This is the transform position of the camera. You see this script is camera follow. It is attached on the camera. So transform position is the current position of the camera. So here we store current cameras position in variable temp like this. 
So the next thing to do is we're gonna say temp.x, which is the x position or the x axis of our position. And it's gonna be equal to player transform that position that x. So here we set the cameras position x to b, so to be equal to the players position x, which means now they will align with each other. What does that mean? That means that if, for example, the player position x is here, and if I type here, the x of the player is now equal to the camera's position, or the camera's position x is same as the player's x position, that means that the camera x position will also be here. They will align in the same line. So the camera will follow the player. If I go back now here below this code, simply what we need to do is we need to say transform that position is equal to temp. You see right here. So here we set back the camera's position to the camera's position. Now this is confusing, but I'm going to write it. We set back camera's temp position to the camera's current position. Current position. What does this mean and why are we doing it like this? Well, because if we try to do it like this, we cannot say, we cannot type here transform that position that x is equal to player transform that position that x. This does not work. You see here, right here we have a problem. Cannot modify the return value of transform position. This value right here, we cannot modify it directly. We can't. That's why we store it in the temporary position. You see here, we store current camera position in variable temp, which means temporary, so temporary position, like this. So we store the current position in the temporary position. So now we can change the temporary position. That can be edited. You see here, the temporary position can be edited. We have no problems here. And then, we edited here the temporary position, but the original current position we did not touch, which means we need to assign back the temporary position, which is now changed, back to the current position so that the current position will change as well. So this is what we are doing. If I go back into Unity and if I hit the play button now, let me just quickly clear the console, I like to do this clearing the console even though that is not a requirement. So now, if I move the character, you see the camera is following him. If I select the Tommy, and if I select the camera, you see their X position align. And again, moving him left, this does not work currently if I move him up because we, are, we did not set temp Y, but if you wanna, if you have your game where you have a character that's jumping, then you can do something like temp.y for the y position is equal to player transform dot position dot y and voila, you are good to go. So this is how you will edit the y position as well. So again, we see now that the camera is following the player. We can also add an offset to the following of the camera, which means we can make the camera be here, for example. So if I go back into the scene, and if the camera is following the player, we can make the camera be here instead of the center. So how can we do that? Well, in order to do that, we simply need to add here a public variable, which is gonna be a float. So public float offset, and this is not the wrapper offset, don't wait for it to sing to you, this is just a variable, don't worry. Anyways, here for the offset, after we set the camera position, so first we set the camera's X position, the temporary one, to the player's current position X. Next, what we can do, we can say here temp.x plus equals the offset. So this will add, so this will add the offset value to the temporary camera X position. So this will add the offset value to the camera's temporary position, which means now we can offset the camera. And we can do it visually right here. If I hit the play button, we will see that. Pay attention in the inspector panel for the main camera. So when you select the camera, you will see here that we have 
offset and we can offset it now so you can move it like this to offset it as you can see here and you see the camera is moving and our player is offset here now for this particular game this does not look good because when we move to the left side you see the player is right here near the end of the left side of the camera you can Put in your code that it will detect when the player moves left or right and if he moves left the camera can go something like this and then it will follow the player like this. If you move right the camera can go like this then it will follow the player like this. But for the games for example where you only move forward you can use the offset like this. So this is the offset and you only move forward you don't move backwards so if you have a game where you don't move backwards this is how you can use the offset and you can change it directly here in the inspector which is the beauty because we set the variable to be public which means it is visible in the inspector panel so you can offset it here to test where you want the offset to be and if you're satisfied for example with 6.25 you can now turn off the play and go back here and paste the value and now when you hit play again the camera will be offset automatically like this and you continue to play your game and you can do the same thing for the Y position if you need to do that so if you go back here you can have something like temp Y is equal to player transform position Y and you can offset it so you can say temp dot Y plus equals offset and voila there you have it so this is how you can make the camera follow the player. Now back to the late update. Why I put it in the late update? Well, because my code for moving the player is in fixed update. Now there is update, fixed update and late update. So I'm gonna put him here. So void update like this. And we have fixed update. So fixed update like this. And we have the late update. What is going on here? So first of all, fixed or actually update is called every frame so called every frame if we have 60 frames in a second this function will be called 60 times in a second fixed update is called every fixed frame rate so called every fixed frame rate what is our fixed frame rate if I go back here in unity edit so right here at the top you're gonna click edit and then we're gonna go here project settings and time so right here and you see the fixed time step here is it so 0 0.0167 this means that our fixed update or this one right here will be called every 0 0.1 so 0 0.01 of a second so every 0 0.01 of a second it will be called not every frame but a fixed frame rate if you put here for example if you put here 0 0.1 it will be called every 0 0.1 of a second so this is what a fixed frame rate means now what is late update well that's the beauty late update is called the last called after update and fixed update so any calculation that happens here or here it's already finished it's calculated and ready to go before late update is called so if we are moving player in the update or fixed update his movement will already be calculated and the player will be moved which means the late update has precise data where we need to go so for example if you have here something like float a plus float b which is equal to C well this C value you can use directly in the late update because this calculation will finish before late update is called so basically this one is called at the end of the update and fixed update so that's why I used late update and this is good to know because sometimes when you use update here and you use update also actually I'm saying here but I mean here if you move your character in the update and then you also move the camera in the update function it can happen that your camera lags or it's not following the player correctly so on and so forth that's why when you put your code in the late update it works like a charm anyways Fahir here from awesometudes.com hopefully this was a short video where I explained some things in more detail you know me I need to explain everything in detail if you want to grab the assets that I have here on my website go on awesometudes.com grab them just put your info there and uh, enjoy the assets until next time guys see ya